Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we're gonna go through the steps to uninstall a feature update when Windows 10 doesn't start correctly and you don't have access to the desktop after an upgrade. If you're unable to start Windows 10 after installing a new version, you can use Advanced Startup to go back to the previous version to fix a the problem. There are several ways to access Advanced Startup. As such, make sure to check the video description below to get a link to another tutorial to learn all the different ways on how to do this. For this video, I'm going to trigger Advanced Startup by starting and shutting down the PC as soon as the Windows logo appears on the screen around three times. Once in automatic repair, click the Advanced Options button. Click the Troubleshoot button, click Advanced Options, and then click Uninstall Updates. Here, click the Uninstall Latest Feature Update button. Finally, in order to remove the latest feature update, click the Uninstall Feature Update button. Just make sure to understand that while this won't delete your files, any applications and settings that you might have applied after installing the update may be removed from your device. After your computer restarts, the setup process will continue to remove the latest feature update and restarting the previous version of Windows 10. This process might take about 10 to 15 minutes, but it will all depend on your system configuration. And that's all there is to it to go back to a previous version of Windows 10 and you now should be able to access the desktop and you can try to upgrade again or just wait until a new fix is available for the problem you're having and that's the reason why the latest feature update wasn't working on your computer. Also check the video description because I'll be leaving a link to another tutorial on how to block a feature update if it is not compatible with your device. Just remember that the ability to uninstall a feature update is usually only available during the first day after the upgrade process and only if you haven't deleted the previous installation files using storage sense. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.